Working with Grain just got a lot better. This plugin allows you to control pretty much everything. However, I should say that if your goal is to emulate a specific film stock, you should look up the other ways of actual film emulation. Okay, why is this plugin so special? Let's apply it and have a look. I will turn up the amount and none of this will make its way through YouTube compression, so you have to rely on what you see in the waveforms. As you can see, if I turn up the grain, the waveforms get thicker. In the projection setting, you can see that I can control the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows individually. So far, so good, but you can do that with every sophisticated grain plugin. What makes this plugin special? I will reset the parameters and ask you a question. Who defines what shadows are, what midtones are, and what highlights are? Well, with this plugin, you do. Let's have a look. At the top of the plugin, you can see the Luma response section. If I toggle this, you can see that the midtones are represented by green, the highlights by red, and the shadows by blue. I can change the roll off and the actual position. Let's disable the Luma response map. To prove that I not make this up, I will decrease the midtones and the highlights and only have the shadows active. I will increase the amount and play around with the shadow slider. You will see how we get gradually more inside the lower mid-range. Now we are in the mid-range and if I drag it up fully, we will affect the entire image. Now if I go back to the Luma response map, you can see that almost our entire image turned blue. But we don't grade test images, we grade real footage. Let's have a look. I will apply the grain plugin and jump straight into the Luma response map. As you can see, most of her skin tone lies within the shadows and this is not something that I want. Let's turn down both roll-offs and take care of our selection. So first, I want to push the shadows down just a little bit, so more of her skin tone is included in the midtones. My goal is to control the amount of grain in her skin tones with the midtone slider, the amount of grain in her hair with the shadow slider, and everything in the background with the highlight slider. If I disable the plugin and if we look at our waveforms, this should be fairly possible. You can see that the skin tones are darker than the background and her hair is darker than the skin tones. So we should be able to pull a pretty clean Luma map. Now I will pull up the highlights until we got all of the background, or at least most of the background. We start to see that already some of the highlights of her skin tones are selected and I think I will park it right here. Let's introduce a little bit of a roll-off, probably something like that. As you can see, we will have a beautiful roll-off on her skin, from the mid-tones to the highlights. Let's disable the Luma mask and increase the amount. I will overdo it so you can see it on YouTube. First I want to pull the projection of the mid-tones and the highlights fully. Let's only take care of her hair for now. I will increase the grain amount until I'm satisfied. I think I will park it somewhere around here. Now let's take care of the background. Remember the background was in the highlights, so I will turn up the grain there as well. I think we don't need that much. Maybe somewhere around here. If we have a look at the before and after, this is before, this is after, we already got quite a long way. But now it's time to take care of her skin. If I zoom in even more, you can see that we already have a little bit of a roll-off. In the shadow areas, you can already see a little bit of grain emerging, and in the highlight areas, you can also see a little bit of grain emerging. If I toggle on the Luma response map, you can see that this just makes sense because here is a little bit of blue and there is a little bit of red. Now I will go back out so we can have a look at the bigger picture. My goal now is to blend the grain on her skin tone that it just fits perfectly. Let's have a look if I can achieve that. I will turn up the grain ever so slightly, maybe a little bit less something like this. And there we go, we have a beautiful grain roll-off from the shadows over the mid-tones towards the highlights. 